Hey guys, it is it's happening with Snooki and Joey. Crackle man, crackle man. Welcome to welcome to Animal Kingdom. This is Minnie Mouse and Goofy, and we're here to do a show. And Pluto, Mama is in Disney right now. I've been here since Saturday. So I'm exhausted. I can't wait to go by the pool later and have a cocktail <laughs> because this morning was a shit show. We got stuck on freaking pirates, the pirates ride. What? It was broke. It down? No, it's just like um, you're in a boat and you're just like going. It's like a small world, but pirates. Um, but the boat freaking broke for like an hour. We were stuck on it. How many people were in the boat with you? Well, it was our boat, so I don't know, like 15 people. And then there was like five other boats. We were just all jammed together, like bumper cars. And then we were stuck. Well, were we with strangers on the second the boat, or was it just your family? No, it was our family, but then there were like other strangers on the boat. Um, what happens if you have to shit? Exactly. So that was my morning at the, at Magic Kingdom. But welcome to the show, Momas. If anyone works at Magic Kingdom, you better make this right, otherwise Snoopy's never coming to Disney again. Did, wait, so I just so I'm with my sister in law Janelle, and she just sent me a link of JoJo Siwa Stop. being drunk at Disney, and now she's banned from Disney. I feel like that's not true. Wait, she was there the same time as you were there. Then did you see her? No, I didn't see her, but she was she went to Epcot the day before me. So all over TikTok, you're like seeing her like wasted because I guess she just turned 21. Yeah, but she was making everyone do her dance <laughs> and like <How> singing. Embarrassing. <laughs> I was surprised to see that because she was going on all the. I'm, I'm not that she's a credible person, you know, to take whatever she says like a fucking news newsworthy. But she said before, like on her 21st birthday, her and her friends. She's going to wild out? No, they said they were planning on doing A, B, A, anything but alcohol. Because she's not a big drink. She doesn't like to drink. She doesn't think it's, she think it's stupid to drink on her 21st birthday. So she wants did to you know, you see her videos. The, yes, I did. She goes, I want to have all the other drinks, you know, the best milkshakes or the best fucking, the best iced tea, the best sodas, the craziest concoctions. There's anything with alcohol. It's really coolest drinks. And then. Oh, she lied. There, wiling out in her Bob the Builder costume. Doing her exorcist dance. Doing that fucking wild dance. Um, How embarrassing. We're no one to talk. I mean, you, you know, our twenty first years. I mean, you yours were on TV, and you were messier than anyone. But it's, oh yeah, it's, I'm trying to think what I did for my twenty first birthday. What you did weren't I cringy, do? Though. You weren't cringy. You were like I feel like I went to the cool. city. You were like cool, and everyone's like you know like loved it. But like I think her, it's just everyone's just like oh maybe because she, she was a child star. Everyone has trouble watching them grow out of their their childhood persona and chew up. No, it's true, especially since she's been like twelve with a bow in her hair. Since like yeah. last year, she, and yeah, now she, she just changed. Exactly, she went from zero to sixty. She was literally had pigtails yesterday. Well, get it, JoJo. Happy birthday! I'm sad I missed you in Disney. She's probably still there. She probably broke the boat. <gasps> Can you imagine? Imagine she was lost. Her imagine her Bob the Builder vest got lodged in one of the filters, and that's what happened. Oh my god! If people what? had to get off the boat and then they had to like get mechanics in the water, I was like, oh my god, what is happening? You have to swim home. Yeah, I had to swim home. Oh my god! Um, so I'm going by the pool after this and getting a nice cocktail and enjoying myself. I just had vegan chicken nuggets out of the air fryer. I got an air fryer from TikTok shop. I'm fucking obsessed. I cannot believe you haven't had an air fryer. Well, I never had a countertop, so I could never have an air fryer. Remember my old apartment? There was no counter. Oh yeah, it was so small. I know. So now I have a counter, but I, I still don't want to keep it on the counter because I think it's tacky to keep. I'm not, I mean, for a house that has kids, it's fine to have it in the kitchen, but my house isn't really like, it's more of like a, sh like a show house, a magazine house. So I can't have an air fryer on the counter. counter a top. magazine house. Calm down. So I have the, um because I have that big um espresso machine I keep out. So I keep it in the closet, but I got to tell you, I have, went through my freezer today and there was this old bag of half-open chicken nuggets. I think they were vegan chicken nuggets from like, a party or something. I just put them in the air fryer just to get because I was going to throw them out. I said, you know what? Let me see how they crisp up. Oh, they're I've, so I've, good. I've like you can't buy them. Like you can't. Like even at McDonald's, even even the freshest right out of the fryer McDonald's chicken nugget will never be as crispy and as crunchy and delicious as an air fryer chicken nugget. You know what's really good in there that I've been what? doing all the time is so I love broccoli. You know I love my vegetables. Like I love yeah. asparagus, spinach, broccoli. Um, so like if I make like burgers or something for the kids, I want to do it like a side, an easy side that's like quick or whatever. So I'll do, you know, the olive oil and garlic salt and put it in the air fryer and then it comes out nice and crispy. And some of the like 
some of the leaves are a little burnt, which I love, like a little burnt, like crunchy uh, oh, broccoli. Is it broccoli or, or fresh broccoli? Fresh broccoli. Oh. So, uh, chop it up and then put it in there, drizzle everything on it, and then it's nice and crunchy. It's healthy. I mean, you might fart a lot because it makes you fart. Yeah. Um, but it's delicious. And then you can dip it in, like, you know, dressing. Um, sometimes I put, uh, right when it comes out, I like to put Parmesan cheese on it. It's so freaking good. I don't want to like. And I don't it's want... summer, ladies, so we have to like try and be good. Even though yeah. today I get I ate like shit. I got a popcorn. I already had an ice cream, and I got um a freaking pepperoni spring roll. How did you on vacation? Fuck it. I'm disgusting right now. I um I do not want to <laughs> like the air fryer. I'm, I'm mad at myself that I like it so much because every I'm a, I'm a I'm a chef, so it's like it goes against everything I stand for about cooking the kitchen. But I can't deny it. It's a oh fucking great tool. It's a great thing to have in the kitchen. Um, I had yeah. Um, so I'm so proud that you're moving up in the world. I love. I'm not what I'm gonna do next. I do. I want to make wings at home, and I hear wings in the air fryer are very good. So oh, I do wings um, all the time, bitch. Do you, do you use frozen ones from the freezer? Um. So yeah, it depends. Like sometimes I'll have the frozen ones, um, mm -hmm. or I'll just get like the regular. So I go to Trader Joe's. You know, that, that's like my yeah. store. So I'll do like the big wings in the package that yeah. are like ready to go, and then I'll do the frozen ones for the for the kids. So freaking good. I'll do like the chicken um, chicken seasoning and you put it in there and then you flip them. It's freaking delicious, Joey. But you put them in when they're frozen and season them or, or you have to, are, are the ones you are, are you putting raw chicken in the in the thing first? No, I'll do the raw chicken and then the frozen ones I'll, I'll leave out on the counter so they're not frozen. Oh, so that's what I'm that's what I'm asking because I had frozen wings. So yeah. I'm just them out before. Like, I like Lorenzo, leave, leave the chicken on the stove so I can make it for dinner. Oh, because I don't know. If I was I was playing on I was playing on just putting them in from frozen, but now I gotta I'll have to frost them first. I'm learning. No, so you much can do it frozen. I've done it frozen before. All right. So as you guys know, I'm in Disney right now, and thank God for my weight products because of course I brought all my products, the anti frizz cream, because the heat here is insane, and I'm trying to actually like look cute in the parks. Like I don't want to look crazy, so being able to look cute in the parks with my frizz cream and smelling good, literally obsessed with my way. I love the frizz cream. I was I had a meeting with them. They told me all about them at like a product development meeting. The frizz cream is elite. What you do is you put it in damp dry damp hair before you blow dry it. And it's gonna be a heat protectant to protect your hair from heat. It's also gonna control frizz from the inside out. So you put it in there, you blow out your hair, and your, your blowout is gonna last that much longer. It's gonna block out humidity, uh, all the other things that affect your hair and make it frizzy. You can also use it during the day to kind of like um refresh your hair. Say you're like your hair is getting like frizzy or messy, and you have to be somewhere after work. Just kind of put that in your hair. And it kind of smooths everything out. Um, it provides immediate well, over that. It provides immediate frizz control for up to seventy-two hours, plus heat protection up to four hundred fifty degrees. Helps reduce and repair split ends while quenching your hair with intense hydration. According to customer perception study, nine percent of participants agree their hair looked less frizzy. Um, you also be obsessed with all, their other best sellers: leave-in conditioner, the detox shampoo, the way fragrances, hair oil, hair gloss. So frizz free up your schedule with The Way. Go to theway.com and enter promo code SNOOKY for 15% off of any product. That's The Way, T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com. Promo code SNOOKY for 15% off any product. Sports, it's summer's here. Sports are here and it's just great to have, like, not to help put the whole oven on. Just put that little thing on. Sports? What sports are you doing, freak? He loves watching sports. I'm watching basketball right now. Oh, oh my, my God, God, I can't. Do you hear the traffic? Who? You hear the beeping? This is the hustle and the bustle of the big city. No, I don't hear anything. Okay. I'm currently, so all the kids are down at the pool because we just got back from Magic. Freaking crazy. So Angela's in here um, and I'm sitting on my balcony and it's beautiful weather out. It's actually really freaking hot in Florida, but it's beautiful weather and I'm sitting out here and I'm looking at water and boats and I, I just feel very vacationy right now. I'm very relaxed. Yeah, it's very hot here. Um as well. I'm in New York and um, it's 82 degrees today, but I can't imagine what's like. Ew. Why is it so hot? Well, summer, it's Memorial Day weekend. Dude. It's, it's a kickoff of summer. It is Memorial Day weekend. So right when I get home, literally no break. We wake up and we drive down the shore because it's oh, Memorial Day weekend. We're going to the shore house for the week. Oh, wait. So that's what I was planning on. Okay. Then that's, that's fine. Then that's fine. Wait, what are you, when are you getting back to New Jersey? Um. So we fly tomorrow night so we land at like 10 because we wanted to you know have like the rest of the day for our last day is like a pool day relaxing and then we'll just pack and leave um so i get back late i'll probably get to my house at like 11 but then i'll we'll wake up and then we'll go down the shore for the weekend oh so you're gonna be down the shore for memorial day weekend i thought you were, i thought you're gonna be in disney 
No, I've been here since Saturday. Like oh. Disney's like fun. Disney's kind of like Vegas, but like different. Like it, like longer days, and it's not like crazy partying, but it's different. So like Vegas, you go to Vegas for only three days because then you're freaking shot. Like you're dead. You can't do any more. You want to go home. Disney, it's like four or five days is amazing, but then more than that, it's just like all right. I'm freaking exhausted because when you come to Disney, it's not a vacation. You're up at freaking six o'clock in the morning, run into the parks, trying to get all the rides done. And then you go to the pool and all the kids are running around. And then you literally get back and you have like two hours, like nap and shower. And then you're out again for dinner and then whatever else. So Disney is not a vacation. I hear you, sister. I didn't know that you're going to be there. Um, I have no plans. I'm, I'm, is, would you get mad if I stopped by your house on Memorial Day weekend? No, you could definitely come over. Can I really? Yes. Who's staying at your little house? Um, I don't know. Someone? I mean, I, I well, yeah, everyone, the whole family. Oh, never mind. But I still have Seaside. That's what I mean. This is a Seaside house. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh, because I have no plans, and I was I, I don't want to be by myself. Yeah, so come down the shore. Hmm. Johnny would love that. Are you going to have his jet skis up and running? Not yet. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. But all I know is after Memorial Day weekend, I'm taking a break from drinking. I'm just like a disgusting slob. I need to get back on my diet. I've been so disgusting. Like, I don't even care what I'm eating here. I ordered a salad and I was like, oh, cool. So I ordered the salad and then I got a side of fries and then like, you know, my wine. And I ended up having two bites of the salad and then I ate the whole plate of fries and like four glasses of wine. Oh, my God. I'm trying to be good. I'm back on um, my semi-glutide journey. And I'm trying to um, be good, but I had there like, you go. There's bagels and sandwiches at the work today at the office, but I took all the the bacon egg and cheese off the bagel and just ate the bacon egg and cheese. Oh, look at you, skinny! But then I got home and me and the little dog are um, we shared vegan chicken nuggets. So I wanted to try out the air fryer, so now my day's ruined. Ruined. Well, you know we can get back on the horn tomorrow, but it's Memorial Day weekend. I'm not going to be good all weekend. I'm going to want to eat like burgers and stuff yeah we're gonna grill it's gonna be so good so i hope you come over oh my god and then i omaha steaks just sent me a case of meat and shit i could bring that for free yeah filet mignon they sent me chicken breast hot dogs what a big case of them um beautiful steaks and um stuff you're so famous well no there was at work it was it was just like they sent one to everyone at work still yeah um love that for us okay all right we'll talk after this we'll figure it out um i want to talk about i want to talk about the big elephant in the room i had no idea that on tiktok me and gianni got divorced and we're fighting oh no that sucks when did you know it was like i don't know it was trending i guess so i'm in disney obviously i posted pictures of like us the first day and like angelo going down the rapid ride so freaking cute so i posted that like oh you know we're in disney our annual you know yearly trip um and everyone's like oh i'm so glad you guys are together i knew the rumors were false but like literally a million comments i'm like what the fuck is everybody talking about and yeah. then people were dming me like tiktoks of like all these like tiktok reporters saying that he moved out of the house uh we're getting a divorce i'm like what the fuck is going on and there's like a source telling them it's that me. <laughs> there's a source <laughs> telling them that we're fighting and we're not together and he moved out and he lives in the shore house and I live at at our house. Oh. Can you imagine? The source is you think the source is Sissy? She's selling uh, it. Who is the source? Sissy's the source. She's selling it for drunk elephant products. I oh, bet okay. you. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, I was here. So to I just I just had to post a TikTok like, who said that? Did you say I that? Just, I, I love I love learning about my life on TikTok. Uh, do you have any um, breaking news about you that you didn't know? No, it's all true. That the, all the rumors are true. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, it's true. Unfortunately, but no, that's annoying that you can't even you know have you know you you went on the record so many times. People have nothing better to do. If you know you know all you have to know is you know that you're happy and healthy. Yeah, I had no idea until I read all the comments. So, yes, Crusaders, we are fine. We are kicking. We're in Disney. We're hanging out. We're being in love. We're good. That's so nice to hear. Uh, Um, Respect my privacy at this time. Thank you. Absolutely. (laughs) What was I going to tell you? Did you see Kelly Rowland yelling at that person at the Cannes Film Festival? No. That did you on TikTok or Instagram. Oh, send it to me. There now, go. Yeah. Okay. She was. And then we have to talk about. And then we have to talk about Diddy. 
Do you think- he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. It was the darkest time of my life. No, bitch, you're an abuser. Shut up. So apparently she stepped on her dress and she was like rushing. She was trying to take pictures and um, on the red carpet and wave to fans and stuff. And the woman was like rushing her off the stairs telling her to get out of the way so they could make room for other celebrities. Yeah, why is she doing that? Because they wanted to get make room for like the bigger celebrities, I think. <gasps> That's so rude. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Let me talk about BetterHelp. We all carry on different stressors, big and small. When we keep them bottled up, it can affect us negatively. There are piece of space to get things off your chest and figure out how to work through whatever's on your mind. All right, so me and Joey have been using BetterHelp for many moons now, several years, and I'm obsessed with them because it's literally so easy to get things off my chest and, like, work on, you know, my time management and stuff like that because, you know, Mama is a busy girl. I get very stressed, and I just need to, like, figure out how to cope with everything and not just, like, be stressed out because I hate being stressed. I hate negative moods. So thank God for my girl because any time that I have a flare-up or I'm like, girl, I need some help here – Um, I literally just text her and then we schedule a FaceTime or a Zoom and I get to talk to her, you know, literally in my bed, just like with the covers on, just trying to feel better. So, you know, like I'm not like waiting in that room, waiting to talk to somebody. I love the fact that I could be cozy in my bed and talk to my therapist. That's right. It's the best option for anyone, literally. If you're thinking about giving a therapy a try, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire online and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Get it off your chest with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Snooki for 10% off your first month. BetterHelp. We need a girl that reads lips. Yeah, they read so it. See what she's they, they read it. And she said, "You're not my mother. Do not speak to me like that. Do not speak to me like that." Oh. Um, but I also want someone to to read lips of um, Ben and J Lo because they were spotted in the yeah, yeah, yeah they were spotted in the car together after rumors of them being divorced, which I got so happy because you know I love Ben. Yeah. <laughs> but they were together, but they looked like they were fighting. Well, they always, well, every time I've seen Ben Affleck out that. ever, he's always looking angry and mad. He looks so miserable. At all times. Like every time he's, he's outside smoking the cigarette or whatever he's doing. He looks very stressed. Poor guy. He looked much happier. Every time I see him with Jen Garner, though, I see him, he seems very happy and content. Oh, I know. Did you see that clip of him talking to... Um, okay. Of him talking to his ex-wife and he's like all giddy and like moving around. So excited. That's what I mean. I think he's much happier when he's Aww. with her. Really. He should have never left that lady. What is that? Um, so yeah, he did. He went on the record, and he was saying that he's sorry. They sort of, this footage released of him walk running through the hallways of a house of a apartment. I'm sorry, a hotel, hotel. room. And he was he I guess like he was sleeping or passed out, and Cassie was being abused by him in the hotel room. So she tried to sneak out with her bags, and then he must have woke up and heard her leave and ran out to the hallway and dragged her back by her head into the room, beat the shit out of her, horribly. Just a trigger warning if you want to watch it. Disgusting. Um. And they resurfaced. Apparently, these were out like years ago, but you know, at, the, at different times or different things, which is so scary because, like, you know, I don't care what kind of times it is, someone's being just shit beaten out of them. You know, no matter what time it is, it should be taken care of. Now he was. Well, his excuse was shitty. He was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I'm disgusted." Like, no, you're still gonna get in trouble. Like, just because you apologize on Instagram doesn't mean you got a free pass. Like, you are abusing that girl and probably several several others. Well, actually, when after what happened after he did that, he went. So I was like saying he must have been, he must have rented out the entire um, floor for that hotel room, hotel because like he would even be running out and doing that in the hallway if anyone could just open the door and see him doing that. Do you know what I mean? He's that rich? I don't know. But he um, apparently went downstairs and because he knew there were security cameras, he probably went downstairs and paid them like fifty thousand dollars of like to delete the footage, and apparently they didn't. And he took they took the money, I think, but they didn't. Delete it. I'm assuming. Well, thank God. Because now everybody believes Cassie that said that she was lying. Can you imagine? Well, he paid her off too, remember? He was about to yeah. court and then she's, they settled out of court. He just paid her off. Yeah, so then um, I love following 50 Cent. Like, I love him. I love his music. Always been a fan of him. And he just hates P. Diddy. Like, if you're ever on 50's bad side, like, he's coming for you. Like, he, he's got no shame. So he just released or he um he just did a deal with Netflix to do like Diddy's R. Kelly docu series. Oh, can you imagine? Like, it's what's a- that gonna be like? 
it tells all and saves saves the world. Mm-hmm. He seems like a good person. I mean, he seems like he has always been like on the right side 50? of it. Yeah, I'm a fan. I am too. Did he ever go to bar school? I'm sure he's been there. I haven't seen him ever. I'll ask him if he wants to come in though. Yeah, let's hang hey, out. With Curtis. Him. I believe his name is Curtis. Yeah. No, he's not there. Did you hear enough and some better news? So you know, nostalgic shows coming back have been all the rage. Ever since the Hershey Shore got re- renewed ten years ago, for, with their spinoff show called the um, um, Suki and Jay was an excellent vacation. Wait, what? <laughs> Summer <laughs> Jersey Shore Summer Family Vacation. Uh, it's just one of the shows that came back and, and made it come back after years. Well, one of our new favorite shows is coming back. A new favorite show is coming back. Do you know what it is? Not a song. Simple Life. So it's about damn time. I guess I'm, it's going to be on Peacock. I wonder if they filmed it, but I am so freaking excited. They should have did this 10 years ago. I know. But now it's like they're both moms. She's a new mom. Like, how is she going to leave her babies and, like, run around? This? I, I don't know what. I hope it's the same dynamic. I don't. I hope it's not like a watered-down version where they're just, like, like, doing. It doesn't really matter. Anytime they're together, I think it's fun. Yeah, they're ridiculous together. They're like us. Yeah. Stars like us. I just hope it's, like, you know. Where they actually go and do like uncomfortable shit again. I think that was the best thing ever. And they can never make it. Everyone tried to remake it for years and never worked. But um, you know, that was one of the original good ones. Yeah, so get ready, bitches. Simple Life is back. And if you don't know about it, binge it now, the old series. So freaking good. Literally grew up on them and love them. Um, and when's this series coming out? Um, I'll sell you right now. July. I think it's July. New era same as coming coming soon to Peacock. It says we don't know when it's coming out, but cool. I would, I would stay tuned. I love a tease without a date. Yeah, but that should be that should be um a hoot. Um, and I have my notes here. Let me pull them up. My dog's wiling out. It's not my dog. Everyone's one. If anyone's wondering who who this dog is, I'm with all the time. It is not technically my dog yet. You're gonna break it. It is Poppy's. Wait, who? Who? Yeah. Whose dog is that? That's Poppy's dog. Poppy's best. Poppy's roommate's dog. Poppy's best friend Bill's dog. Oh. She's um he's in Norway and he's so Poppy's watching it. But Poppy came to my house for dinner on Sunday because I wanted him to um get out of the house and I and I brought him and bring the dog with me and then I and then I Poppy stayed for two days and me and the dog became best friends so I was like he's not leaving so Poppy and Poppy away still so he, Poppy doesn't want to have to worry about walking the dogs and he lives in that bad neighborhood he wants to walk around like that. And the dog is so cute. So he's been with me, but I'm hoping that they just tell him like you know what, it's you know just keep him for now. And then I'll never give him back because he's the best what? dog ever. He doesn't bark. I mean, clearly he just barked because he's upset that I'm on the phone. But he um, he doesn't bark. He's sweet. He's cuddly. He loves me. Like, he follows me around like a puppy dog. He is a puppy dog. And he's just, like, so polite and adorable and easy. He doesn't, he doesn't like, piss in the house. He's just, like, the easiest, sweetest dog. And But he thinks he's eight years old. So Poppy doesn't want me to have him because he knows that I'm going to – I'll get hurt because he, he knows he's not going to be around for a long time. Because he's he's getting older. Oh yeah, you'll you'll be suicidal. But I googled it, and they come up from twelve to eight years. Twelve to eight, sorry, twelve to sixteen years. He's only eight, so I still have eight. 12, eight oh nine. okay. I still have four more years with him. Four to six years with him. Four to eight. Oh, well, poor Rocky. I haven't seen Rocky since Thursday. And Imagine Rocky. I'm like really upset. Like I feel like he thinks we abandoned him. Like oh, we don't want him anymore. So I'm just gonna leave him to my mom's. Your mother doesn't Facetime you with him every five minutes. Yeah, she does, but it's still not the same. So my mom is actually bringing Rocky over tomorrow because I land tomorrow night. And I'm so excited to see him. All right, Mama. So whether you're staying at home or heading out on summer explorations, KiwiCo is inviting kids and kids at heart to enjoy their first ever summer adventure series. So kids from two years old to teens can receive six hands-on science and art project kits over six weeks with enriching content and fun activities to accompany each project. KiwiCo has something for everyone and offers different topics for each age, whether your child wants to explore space or learn about dinosaurs. So I'm literally obsessed with this. The thing about KiwiCo is it's great because you get your kids outside and um, to explore and stay off their screens. Um, it's an awesome project, the Summer Adventure Series, like Bottle Rocket Kit, where kids can build an actual bottle rocket and turn the outdoors into a playground of learning fun. 
Choose your expedition this summer with a camp alternative. The Summer Adventure Series is a personalized experience. You'll be surprised at how high quality the materials are, too. They are real engineered science and art projects for children. Hebeco does all the legwork for you so you can spend quality time tackling projects together. There's something for kids of all ages, convenient, personalized. You can even re- you can either receive all of your Summer Adventure crates at once or um, weekly for six weeks. Build the best summer ever with KiwiCo. Get 20% off your summer adventure series at kiwico.com slash snookysummer. That's 20% off your summer adventure series at kiwico.com slash snookysummer for 20% off KiwiCo. Like, I freaking love my dog so much. You know. Is he going to be there before you get there? Yeah. So then I walk in, he's going to freak out. I know. It's been, mm-hmm. it's been days. It's been months. Many moons. Well, I'm glad you get to reunite it, but um, oh, here's another one. Especially talking with cute, adorable pets. Did you see Kyle Richards in her car with the mouse holding a hostage? Yes. How adorable was that? I feel like that would have been your best day. I would have let that thing in. I would have drove right to PetSmart and got a cage and little, like, like, come a little here, wheel. I would Okay, if you don't know what we're talking about, oh. Google online, Google Kyle Richards' mouse in oh. the car. And there's never there's never been a cuter mouse in the world. Like that was that was like fucking Fidel the mouse or whatever Fidel. He was trying to send her a message. They, that was like a dead a dead relative came back to life. That wasn't just a random mouse. Mice don't look in the windows like that. Instead, there's just mice running around like that. I don't know what was going on, but that was the cutest mouse I didn't I've know ever that's in my life. I would have gonna... went straight to PetSmart. I would have gotten the wheel. I would have gotten the water bottle. I would have gotten little costumes. Two other mice, maybe to have so I could hang out with it. I mean, so why, freaking cute. that never ha- happens with me. No, that never happens to me. Anything that's like in my car, it's always like a spider or a disgusting bug. Yeah. I don't get a freaking cute mouse. Are you wa- Okay, I'm watching some new shows. Oh, I watch- so am I, but. I download, I had to download a whole new um network to watch a new show. What are you watching? It's such a good show. I needed a new show. Outer Range. Oh, I don't know this one. Outer Range on Amazon. Did you watch it? No, what does it have to do with? Um, it's about like this guy that lives on like a farm in a uh, Wyoming, like cowboys, but there's like a freaking hole in the ground and they realize it's like you jump in the hole and you go to a different time. Um, and I'm only on episode six, so I'm like just figuring out what's happening. But it's fucked up. It's really fucked up. So if you like a fucked up series, watch Outer Range on amazon i'm gonna What's watch show? my show is called mary and george and it's on sick Star, stars network it stars and um what's it not called it stars um what the fuck's her name julianne moore it's about the old times it's about like like the 1300s or something and she is a mom of she has two boys her first born son is like i guess he's supposed to be the prince or whatever and then the second one is worthless and the second son is always worthless he says um so they so he like He's like, oh, but he's always trying to kill himself and like he's sad and he has like doesn't want to do anything. So then she sends him off to like school in France or whatever to be and then he gets like some like some like sex school. And basically she, and then she gets back oh. and, she, and her husband dies, the father dies, and she goes to some other guy. And she basically she has a king of king of wherever this place is, the, the king. She she uses her hot young son to seduce the king. Cause it's the king likes is married or whatever, but he has a group of like all these hot young guys that he fucks behind uh the queen's back. Oh, you would love this. But the queen knows about it. I don't know what's happening, but so she, she this one, like the one, her, the, the king's main gay thinks he's hot shit. So then she brings um her hot son over there to like seduce the, the king, and now um to like to get to gain power back into the in the community and stuff. So it's all about mm-hmm. espionage about tricking people into doing dirty things, and then like using that to, to like um to backstab them. Um, mm, sounds abusive. It's very beautifully written, though. I have to say. Are you um an Oscar nominee? Yeah, I'm a young hopeful. Um, but I've been watching that. I've been watching a lot of Survivor of um Australian Survivor. Oh, Hacks is back. You have to watch Hacks. Have you seen Hacks yet? Hacks? On HBO Max. Mm-mm. No, I don't really watch HBO Max. I love that show. So it's back. If you know if you know, you know. It's um my favorite show and it's um so funny it's about you know a stand-up comedian named deborah vance and she's you know a very the one of the most famous com- comedian comedians in the world and um you know it's it's you know it's young light-hearted it's fresh and fun it's on in season three if you know the show you know it and it's fab you loss fabulous 
Love it. Simply it's fabulous. Like, oh, a spooky one. Did I tell you this? Them, the scare. No. Oh, that was spooky. If you guys like spooky, that's on Prime Video also. Um, and then there's something on Netflix. But I definitely need another show because I feel like this is going to be over soon. And this is what I do. I always get tired and then I want to go to bed early. And then I just end up staying up all night binging these shows. I have a trick that I've been doing that's helping me. Because you know how we've been like, I've been, I can't get through a show. You have to leave your phone in the next room. Otherwise, you're oh, never yeah. I, I put my phone down when I start a show. I can't put it down. Well, th- that's I a problem. I know, but the second I pick it up, it like, then I, I start watching it. Like, um... And then I get distracted. Like, I have no interest in what's going on the show anymore. It takes forever to get through a movie or a show. Yeah, get off your phone. I have to leave it in the other room like a toddler. I have to take my screen time away. Otherwise. Yeah. You should lock yourself out of your phone. Like, you only have a certain amount of hours a day. Yeah. Come on. Say hi to Joey. Hi, Squishy. Where's Mickey? Say hi, Joey. No, it's just it's just the phone. Say hi, Joey. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, he doesn't like you. Why do you say hi, Joey? Oh, he's spitting on the floor. Okay. Um, our tour is coming up. Okay. We're going all over the world. It's okay. Yeah, so we're going on tour. I will be at the pool. Um, Joey's coming with my girlfriends. That is going to be June 8th. Everybody, if you need the links to all the tickets, they are in my link tree. Um, in the link in my bio on Instagram. So we have Parks Casino, we got Staten Island, we got Stanford. I mean, we are going all Boston, over the world. Big night live in Boston. Um, and now, oh, and then um, Morristown, New Jersey. All right, Morristown, New Jersey, I have to add that one. What do you think our tour should be called? We have to come up with our tour name. Let's do that now. Um, Last tour was Messy Mama's tour, Messy Besties tour. Yeah. That was right before the pandemic. The pandemic. This could be the hit the ground running, the the back. We're just winging it tour. Back. <laughs> back streets back. We're winging it. Um, girls trip. Girls. Where have you been, bitch? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Where have you been, bitch? And we have to come with. But everybody going for tickets because it's going to be an amazing show, regardless. Our show's like. It's like a girls' night out. Like, yeah. All the girls come. All of our girlfriend crusaders. I just feel like everybody gets toasty. And we just have a good time. And we're definitely going to do, like, fan stuff. Which we did before. But we're going to do a lot more. And it's going to be, like, a fun girls' trip over. Yeah, we do a meet and greet. And then we do, um... We do, um... All um, fun activities. We do contests and games. Bring people on stage. We do um, giveaways... Uh, storytelling on uh, uh, stories you can only hear at the live show exclusive exclusive drinking games we show show exclusive content and videos um and we're just stand-up comedians i do a full set when nicole goes to the bathroom i do my stand-up routine oh yeah remember i like i can't hold my pee sometimes and i have to go and i'm like all right guys i'll be right back <laughs> and joey's just I- sitting there with the mic myself sometimes people um take intermissions i was at a show recently a podcast show and they took an intermission i can't believe it wait what do you feed your what do you feed rocky i think i'm overfeeding my little dog rocky's a graze eater so rocky only eats what? like one big meal a day he's a graze eater I put rocky. oh you love rocky yeah so rocky doesn't eat a lot so he has like the treats here and there but then he has like one big I meal play. Rock. you punch rocky that's not nice why is that little dog not eating? So he eats, but like I have his dry food. He's, but I can't imagine he just wants to eat dry food. So I leave oh, it at the mother. Rocky. He never eats it. But Poppy says when he feeds him, he just leaves the bowl out and he'll, he'll eat when he's hungry. But I, I try to feed him other stuff because he, he obviously asks for other food when I'm sitting there eating. He wants to try little things. So I'll give him like just like clean, like plain, plain like turkey slices. Like I'll cut it up or like just like grilled chicken with nothing on it. Like I'll give him like little things like that. But then. Oh, yeah, you just got to be careful if he's not used to eating that. He'll spit all over your apartment and throw up. That's what I don't want to happen. So I was like, uh, he's not eating the kibbles by himself. So it's like, should I not be feeding him the extra stuff? Because he'll eat that stuff. But if he's hungry, he'll eat, right? Like his kibbles? Yeah, just leave it out. He'll be fine. You don't well, have don't... any treats, like a bone? I have treats. I have little um training treats, little um chicken-flavored treats I got. We went to um, Petco, the other, or, Petco the other day, and we spent like $300. 
Yeah, just make sure you're giving him his treats. It'll be fine. And leave the table. But don't give him table food. I mean, I wouldn't if he's not used to it. Yeah, because his hoops were so much better the first time I had him. It was like, you know, big, clean poops. And now it's like, you know, short little wet ones. <laughs> yeah, because you're messing with his diet. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do that. I, I'm going to stop doing it. After you're I killing him, the dog. I just gave him freaking chicken nuggets, but I'll stop that now. Oh, my God. Goodbye. I thought it was... um. Don't we give the dog chicken nuggets? What? 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 All right, well, I'll let you get back Daddy, to your family vacation. Daddy, you want? Okay. I'll let you back to your... Yeah, Mama's got mama's to get back to Disney vacation. I love you, Crusaders. Go buy your tickets for our live shows. Because you're not gonna, you're not gonna be disappointed. It's gonna be a good time. So come on down and get your tickets. Um, and then, yeah, happy Memorial Day weekend. Yes. Make sure that you are trash. Yeah. Have the best time. Happy birthday, America. God bless. It's, it's happening. happening.